Friuli Venezia Giulia is almost unknown and unheard of outside of Italy, and yet it's an integral part of the country's economy. It has a colourful and chequered history that has shaped it into what it is today. So what's so unique about the region that makes it worth revisiting and even considering living in Friuli Venezia Giulia? Here's 24 helpful and fun facts about Friuli Venezia Giulia in Italy to help get your adrenaline running. Number 1. Friuli Venezia Giulia came to being in 1963 and is one of the five semi-autonomous regions of the country. Number 2. The region is situated in the northeast corner of Italy. Number 3. It borders Austria in the north, Slovenia in the east, the Adriatic Sea in the south, and the Veneto region in the west. Number four, the region is prone to earthquakes, with one in 1976 north of Udine killing over 1,000 people. Number five, Friuli Venezia Giulia is the fourth smallest region of Italy, covering an area of about 7,700 square kilometers. Number six, there are about 1.3 million people living in the region. Number seven, Languages spoken in the region are Italian, German, Slovene and Friulian, which is a mixture of Ladine and Swiss Romance. Number 8. To help explain and give you an idea of the region's colourful past, this area of Italy witnessed heavy fighting in both the First and Second World Wars, with local fascists being sympathetic to the fascist ideology of Germany. Trieste is infamously known for housing one of Italy's two concentration camps, Today, the political sentiment in the region is thought to be right-wing. Number 9. There are four provinces in the region called Gorizia, Podnone, Trieste and Udine. Number 10. Trieste is the capital city of the region and is situated on the Adriatic coast. The port was built by Austria when it was part of their empire, as it was their only port. Today, Trieste is Italy's main coffee importer as it supplies over 40% of Italy's coffee, with the well-known coffee brand of Illy having its headquarters in the city. Trieste is also host to the world's largest sailing regatta, which takes place on the second Sunday of October. More than 2,000 vessels of varying sizes gather each year for the Barcolana, the Festival of the Sea, where competition food, wine and musical entertainment are the order of the day. Number 11. Aquileia is an important archaeological site in the region, regarded as the largest Roman city to have been excavated. During Roman times, it was the capital of Friuli. Situated to the west of Trieste, the area is a designated UNESCO heritage site. Number 12. Cipidale del Friuli, another UNESCO preserved site, is a medieval town in the Udine province, positioned high above the Natizoni River and is a very popular tourist destination. As a very short interlude, if you enjoy these helpful and fun facts about Friuli Venezia Giulia in Italy, quickly check out the ongoing collection of news, reports, resources and courses on this channel that will make your introduction to expat life in Italy and La Dolce Vita even sweeter. It's so easy. Just click on the subscribe button below and then click the grey bell icon to ensure you don't miss out on future videos being uploaded. Plus, watch this video to the very end where you'll get access to a special report packed full of helpful ideas for when you visit or consider living in Italy. And now for some more helpful and fun facts about Friuli Venezia Giulia in Italy. Number 13. Gorizia is a town based halfway between Trieste and Udine that was split in half after the Second World War, with the eastern part now belonging to Slovenia. Because the town was previously part of the Austrian Empire, its appearance and architecture is more Central European than Italian. The castle of Gorizia that overlooks the town dates back to the year 1001 and has overseen many changes of ownership between warring factions throughout its history. In recent times, the castle suffered a lot of bomb damage during World War I and was subsequently rebuilt in the 1930s to its previous 16th century layout and design. 
During the Second World War, it was occupied by the Germans who used part of the grounds for executions. Today, it's a big tourist attraction, as much for its panoramic views over the town and across to the Julian Alps. Number 14. Grado is an historic and relaxing beach resort, whilst Laguna de Grado, the Grado Lagoon, is made up of many canals and islands. The islands were inhabited by fishermen who travelled to Grado at weekends to sell the fish they caught. The houses on the islands are called Cassoni, which are made of local natural materials of mud, straw and reeds. Most Cassoni are now used as holiday homes with only a few people residing on the islands permanently. Grado is also the final destination of the Alpa Adria, deemed to be the best mountain biking route that starts in Salzburg, Austria and runs across the Alps and through the Gemona vineyards in Udine. Number 15. The Niano Sapiodoro, situated on the Adriatic coast about halfway between Venice and Trieste, is the main summer holiday destination of Friuli, with long sandy beaches and shallow waters. Number 16. San Daniele is a hilltop town in the Udine province. It's better known for its world-renowned ham and continually vies with Parma ham to its claim of being the best. Up until the 1960s, the ham previously came from black Friulian pigs, which nearly became extinct, so today production of the ham is restricted to certain pig breeds that must be over 9 months old, and each pig must weigh at least 350 pounds. For four days of the month of June, the area de Fasta is held where the pig farms and production centres open their doors to the public. Number 17. Castello di Miramari, the castle of Miramari, is situated at Grignano, overlooking the Gulf of Trieste, and is known as the castle of the Mexican king. Built in the 1860s by the Austrian ruler Archduke Ferdinand Maximilian of Habsburg for his wife Charlotte of Belgium, they became, at the insistence of Napoleon III in 1864, Emperor Maximilian I and Empress Carlota of Mexico. Owing to the couple's subsequent untimely deaths, it's now reckoned that the castle is cursed. Number 18. Guata Gigante, situated north of Trieste, is in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the largest cave to be visited by tourists. It's about 10 million years old and almost 300 metres long nearly 100 metres deep and 65 metres wide. Number 19. Nature Reserves There are 13 such nature reserves in the Friuli Venezia Giulia region, all with numerous hiking trails, with the main one being the Sentieri dell'Acqua, the water paths. Previously used to transport wood over the water, the trail runs through the Chiasso Creek, which has many spectacular views and scenery, including a 115 feet tall white spruce tree called Palma, which is nearly 200 years old. Number 20. Skiing, snowboarding and bobsleighing are very active sports undertaken and enjoyed in this region. For skiers and snowboarders, the ski resort of Sella Nerea is linked with the neighbouring Slovenian resort of Bovet Canin on a single ski pass, effectively extending the ski season into May. In Tarvisio, there is now an alpine bobsleigh run for the whole family to enjoy that drops over 1,000 metres through the forest, reaching speeds of up to 40 kilometres per hour. Number 21. If paragliding is your go-to adrenaline rush, then near Aviano at the foot of the Dolomites, you can jump off the slopes of Castaldia at over 1,100 metres high. The area is ideal for easy takeoffs and for your first introduction to paragliding where, on a clear day, you'll have a spectacular view of the mountains reaching down to the coastline. Number 22. The most well known of the lakes in the region is Lago de Fadil, Fadil Lake, near Tarvisio. Number 23. The local cuisine. Owing to the many cultures that have influenced the region over the years, food comes in all sorts of shapes, sizes and tastes, such as 1. Covada, made of turnips fermented in local wine and served with sausages. 2. Chowzons, which are sweet pasta parcels containing chocolate, nutmeg and raisins. 3. Frico, made of grated Montasio cheese on potato that's fried and served with polenta. 4. Gnocchi ali spinaci, which is pasta filled with spinach. 
5. Goulash, a thick meaty stew from the Austro-Hungarian era. 6. Yotta, a local soup with beans and sauerkraut being the main ingredients. 7. Radicchio, a chicory type vegetable used in risottos and lasagna. 8. San Daniele ham and affettati, which are home cured meats. Desserts include various cakes and pastries with a heavy Austrian influence of strudels, filled with ricotta cheese and fruits. Number 24. Wine. Friuli Venezia Giulia is a big wine producer noted for its white wines. The Tokai or Friulano and Sauvignon Bear grapes are the most popular variety grown in the region of Collio. The Collio Orientale del Friuli wine is often drunk as an imperative. Red wines include the local Tirano, the Cabernet Franc and the Schipatino. A dessert wine called Picolit is also produced in small quantities, although it can be quite expensive to buy. To experience these wines, as in virtually all regions of Italy, you can follow the Strada del Vino, which is a journey through one of the many wine routes to enjoy, especially in the foothills of the Alps and Dolomites. The best time of year to experience this is at the time of the Cantina Party, when the local vineyards invite the public to taste their wines on the last Sunday in May. Whilst you're contemplating all that you've discovered about Friuli Venezia Giulia in Italy, why not treat yourself to a glass of wine from the region, or any Italian wine for that matter, whilst downloading and reading your special guide entitled You Can Start a Brand New Life in Italy. Just click on the URL link in the description box below this video, kindly leave a positive comment in the comment section below, and then please share with friends and enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe and then click the grey bell icon to join an exclusive club of subscribers to be notified of all future videos being uploaded. Until next time, ciao for now.